number two. Today we're making M&M's. Although, they're not the candy M&M's. Marinated mushrooms. So, we're using portobello mushrooms today. And they're a lot bigger. And the way you clean them is you take it and a paper towel and just start rubbing it. You don't need to use a sink or anything, just rub it. But this, they act just like regular mushrooms. It's just pretty much their size. Then you're gonna pop out the middle. Ooh, there we go. So now that I have this out, we're ready to marinate them. But these mushrooms, they really soak up all the marinade, and then when you eat it, it like bursts out all the yumminess, and it makes it all hot. So good. It's like really juicy and tart, and it just has all the flavors that you need. And these are great mushrooms for it, because you just take it, and you like cut it with a steak knife and a fork. Now we're going to create the marinade. You're gonna need four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, four tablespoons of soy sauce, and one cup of red bleh, red wine. Sorry, and this is called Cabernet Sauvignon, I believe. And I don't drink wine, so I have no idea what this is. All I know is that it's red wine. So we'll add the four cloves of garlic at the end. But like we did with the steak, we're gonna take the bag. Fold the outside like this so that if anything spills, we just fold it back in and you get all the yummy Put it in the bowl and kind of make it like that. And so I'm going to pour in my red wine. Spilling everywhere. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take your garlic, just set it in here, or you can cut it up with a knife with your parents' help. I'm going to give it a squeeze before you put it up in the bowl so that you know they start coming out. And then squeeze with all your might. I don't even know if I can do this. Ugh. So we have our marinade. And we're going to gently set the mushrooms in it. Like this. And we're going to dip it almost all the way. I'm going to leave some to squeeze out of the extra air. And, oop, almost there. Slip it up the rest of the way. And then just make sure the marinade gets all over it. You might want to check your zipper. Just in case. And just make sure it gets all over the mushrooms. You let it marinate for 15 minutes, and then you bake them. So now that they've been marinating for 15 minutes, we figured out that the best way to marinate them is set them in fours and make sure you get some juice inside the cups so that way the inside marinates. So now we're going to take our baking dish and be careful when you open it, but with your hands carefully Lift out the mushrooms in the same order. And just pour all the sauce over. Take the tin foil we have and make a sheet big enough to go over it. And press 
through that. And now, we can bring it over to the oven and we've preheated it at 400 degrees. I need my up gloves. cooking off so don't worry he won't turn drunk. Okay so we took that out now let's take the foil off. Oh I want to eat it right now. so that the other side, it was already cooking, but we want to make sure it gets the full, the full soak, whatever you would call it. Now we're going to pop it in the oven for eight more minutes. So we've taken them out, and now we're going to taste test. Okay. See what I mean? It soaks up all the juice. It's like, okay. And I hope the marinade works out for you. And remember that kids can cook too. Bye!